I am Lou Lyons, artist, husband, father, and the son from the island of Tobago. March 28th marks my 37th birthday. The number 37 symbolizes exploration, introspection, creativity, independence, self-determination, and self-expression. So for my birthday this year, I decided to make a short film with my family, exploring the meaning of family as my birthday gift to them. Daniel T. Lyons, 67 years of age. Lou Lyons is my second child, which is a boy. He's, that's my son. My name is Aristocy Dan Lyons. I was born on the 16th of September, 1951. I live at Sailor's Home, Pembroke, Tobago. Lou Lyons is my second son. And uh, he has been a source of inspiration to me over the years and strength. So my name is Daniel T. A. Lyons and I am from Trinidad and Tobago, Pembroke, Tobago. So Lou is my younger brother, my only sibling. I would say the person who knows me better than the whole world. In many ways, yes, and uh, in many ways, not exactly, but I appreciate what he's doing with his life. Family is all to me. Family means all to me. When I say all, family is what I live for. Family is what I, who I'm loyal to, with my family, with my siblings. From a child growing up, I always learned from my father and mother that family is very important for the development of children. We learn, we fight, we do all sorts of things, we disagree to agree. And that's, I mean, family is the fabric of society. That's the first frontier of society. And if we haven't got a solid family, then not, that's why we have so much chaos in society today. So it means a lot to me. Family means everything to me. It is a means of strength, for the members of the family. And as it is said, the family who prays together stays together. I believe that families should have time to pray together, play together, and have meaningful discussions. So which, if any part is missing, then the family will not be as strong as it ought to be. Family to me is the backbone. Family is your first, your first reference point for a lot of what you would encounter in the real world, in the extension of the world. Family is what gives you that groundation, your ethos to go forward with, the drive, that place of refuge when everything else may seem against you. Family is where you would have to turn. My mother, from a child growing up, she always tell us that a good name is better than money. And since she carried my father's name, Lyons, when she got married, and I 
born alliance and knowing my father, the type of man my father was a family oriented man, a brave, fearless man. Nobody could have pointed a finger at him and say he robbed them, he owed them, anything whatsoever. And I grew with that. And today, by the grace of God, nobody could point their hand at me and say, I, I do them this or rob them or do this and that. So my family name means very, very much to me. I feel a very strong sense of identity with my maiden name. My father was a family man. He liked families and as children, he took time to instruct us, to pray with us, to play with us at times, and more so to have meaningful discussions. At times, as a child growing up, I used to wonder, but why, you know, having these types of discussions with us? And it was not until I left home and was on my own that I got to understand that he was laying a foundation that nothing could remove. He had us reciting passages of scriptures, learning um, other passages from different books and we couldn't understand why why we had to learn all this thing and repeat it there were times when he will call us at random and ask us to repeat it those things and he never really made us feel ashamed if we didn't know it but he encouraged us step by step and he will have different scenarios at family worship. If we should face with certain things, how are you going to handle it? And we will tell him, you know, as children, we will look at revenge. And he would say, no, that's not the way. And he will tell us how we should handle it in a way that can still maintain peace and harmony. And he's dead and gone now, but I appreciate those values that he placed in us as children. Yes, there's emotional connection. There would be expectations that parents put on you and as we grew we also encountered in real time what the tribe stood for what the tribe would always be known for and that soundness is something you wanted to continue that legacy was some is something that was is meaningful and was continually reinforced in many different ways both overtly and subtly as things to live up to one being with them, one being in their life, one being frank with them. And by example, they might have seen, I'm not saying I'm perfect or a perfect family, but I, I think I've passed on some of the values that I am seeing through them, they take it from me. There may be a lot of them, but what I always got from my father is he's a stickler for quality, quality in terms of what he puts out as a trademark quality in terms of what he does with his purchasing power and those are things that I saw throughout the family, especially on my patriarchal side of the family. And those are things that 
I myself value in what I do as a professional and in my day-to-day -day life, in what I acquire as assets, in what I expect from people who do work for me or who I work for. One of the lessons that I learned from my father that stand out with me is to be patient and not to make hasty decisions. When you're angry, to be calm as far as possible without offending the other person, whether they're right or wrong. I got from mom sacrifice and trying to be the one of reason and patience. Um, she would be more conservative in her ideals, being the lone female in the household, but it, it kind of gives a balance of being a little more level-headed in terms of approaching things. But she also drove home the point of quality in terms of what she would get for us, what she would provide for us. It may not be the flashiest, but she would always make a quality investment. If I have to give my son, this son of mine, advice, keep on doing what you're doing. I know that you are fearless you're, that, and that you're, 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 you're not stupid and you remind me of my father in a very special way. You, 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 you're brutally frank, like my father was, and watch people dead in the eye, and I know you're good at that. And I think, I can't say much but again, but I think you're on the right road. The advice I have for you on your 37th birthday is to remember the Creator in the days of your youth, seeing that you're fast leaving your youth now, so that when the evil days come, you will, have, you will know that He is still with you. Through your ups and your downs, remember Him. Say, call upon me and I will deliver you. The last message that I would like to leave to you this afternoon is to love the Lord your God with all your heart. I know you love Him and to keep trusting in Him. Don't make hasty decisions in everything. Seek Him first. Go, go to him and pray before making any final decision. Always trust in the Lord. That is all I have to say, because to me, God is everything. When I'm perplexed, I go to him. When I'm angry, I go to him. And when I you know, want to uh, blow off somebody, I go to him and <laughs> he calms me down. Well, I don't think there's anything that I can see now that has not been <coughs> shared before. But I just want to say I'm proud of where you are in your journey. And I'm happy that I could have 
been a positive influence on your outlook in life. Um, 27, um, you have accomplished a lot. You are a family man, an artist. Pull together all your training and continue to seek ways to enlighten others. And I'm proud of that. What started out as a loosely planned trip back to my family home turned into a soul journey opening me up to healing and the true reminders of what family and forgiveness means. Many see age 37 as three years away from age 40, but I embrace this birthday as a milestone, returning to my first memories of family and love, my home.